Hey guys, what's up? Cuffing like a motherfucker. Um, you guys watch my intro, my bootleg, low budget monster intro with no music, cause YouTube is fuck with me. Um, you notice how I mentioned I want, I want them all. I want the delts, I want the traps, I want the chests, the arms, the quads, the hams, I suppose. But um, most importantly is my my shoulders. You guys know me. If you've been following me since last year when I started the channel, you know um. Actually, in 2011, you know, shoulders is what I always wanted, right? And if you've also been following me, be fucking honest, you notice that my shoulders have not grown a bit in like over a year and a half. I was like, damn, son. So I went in my notepad, right? And you guys know me, I track all my workouts and I go back like a, you know, like a little detective. And I, pretty much what I do is I always write my workouts, right? And the next day after a workout, I always write down what is sore, which body part is sore, which body part is not sore. I use soreness as a way to track the effectiveness of my of my of my training. I know a lot of people say, well soreness does not mean that you're gonna get big, da 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 but to me it works. That's when I'm when I'm sore from, from doing a good workout, I know it was good and I try to repeat that workout to beat the numbers. If I train, which happened a lot of times, if I train um in a way that I think is good, but then the next day I don't feel shit, delete that workout. So I'm I'm always like trying new things. And I went back and I looked at my shoulder training. I noticed a lot of times when I did delts, uh my shoulders were not sore the next day. And I was like, damn, but when I did chest, my front does what I always saw, you know, you know, that makes sense, a lot of pressing. And I was, I was trying to figure out, how come my shoulders don't grow? I tried everything. I tried side laterals, because everybody just wants that cap on their shoulders. We all know that, naturally. So I tried side laterals. I mean, I tried um, every form of side laterals you could think about. I tried leaning away side laterals. I tried fucking slow control side laterals, you know, holding the squeeze at the top, coming down slow on the negative. I tried jerking branch warren side laterals with like 50 pounds. I tried cable. I tried every side lateral on the planet, right? No gains. Just no gains. I just get like a little pump, you know, a little pump in my, in my in my shoulders. And the next day, I don't feel shit. And I was like, damn, son, why my shoulders? And it's funny, the body parts that I get sore from, if I train a body part and I get sore, those body parts make progress. The body parts that I never got sore from didn't make a single progress, a little bit of progress. So I realized, you know what? Jonathan, start going in detective mode. So I put on my little sunglasses and shit, my little Sherlock Holmes, Batman, um, fucking gadget belt and shit. And I started going on the internet. And I started looking for people that have big shoulders, natural, n unnatural, whatever. And I was looking at their routines and their philosophies. And like I said, I always look for people that had lagging shoulders and brought them up. I don't look for people that always had big shoulders because, I mean, genetics in a way. So I was looking for people that had sucky shoulders and had to bring it up, whether it's natural or not. Um... So, and I found out one thing that they had in common was they did a lot of pressing movements. And I was like, yeah, I mean, you know, they always saying military pressing is what brought the shoulders up. People like uh, Branch and uh, Ben Pakoski has great shoulders, um, all these bodybuilders. And I, I realized they do a lot of pressing movements. And I realized, but, well, I do pressing movements. I, mean, I do fucking shoulder presses and shit. Why my shoulder's not big enough? Then I realized something. The average person, this is the average shoulder workout for, for a typical bodybuilder. We do our pressing. Shoulder press, whatever, dumbbell, barbell, whatever. Then we do our side laterals, we do our front raises, we do our real delts, we go home. Maybe some traps. Or we probably throw in like an upright roll or some shit. But if you think about it, that's not enough simulation to make your delts grow. Why? Pressing movements are 20 times more effective than isolation movements for your shoulders. And I know that from experience because I've been doing shoulders, you know, front raises and side laterals for as long as I can remember. And um, recently, I started doing a lot more pressing movements. I mean, at one point, I threw away side laterals. I was like, you know what, fuck it. I'm just going to do them to warm up, right? And I'm just going to hit pressing movements after another. I would do front presses. I will do behind the neck presses. I will do hammer press. And in less than two or three weeks, my shoulders blew up. And in fact, I have pictures here to show you guys. Um, I'll show you guys the, the way my shoulders looked uh, in July when I was cut and when I when I was finished my cut and I was lean, leaner than now. Now, I'll, I'll show you how my shoulders look now that I'm on a high body fat percentage. You won't believe it. Especially my side delt is starting to get that little cap on it. It's not where I want it to be, but I'm starting to get a cap in my side delt and I have a lot of body fat at the moment. If you can see the, the separation in your shoulder at the body fat I'm on, something you're doing is working. And as long as I've been training, I've never seen results like that. So, um, so like I say, guys, think about it. When we train chest, right, we do incline. One, that's one person movement. And we do flat. That's two person movements. Some people do decline. That's three. We, the average person does three to four pressing movements for chest. Same thing with back. We do like four to five exercises for back. Why is it that for shoulders, if you think about it, we do one pressing movement and we think, okay, I'm just going to do um, laterals and, you know, whatever, you know, call it the shoulder day. 
That's like you going to do a chest day, doing bench press, that's your one pressing movement, and then doing three different fly exercises. How big how, how big you think your chest is going to get? No, most people do three to four pressing movements. So on shoulder day, do at least, at the very minimum, two pressing movements, and you realize how quick your shoulders are going to blow up. My shoulders have, have, have taken off. They, they, they still look you know normal, but it, they're the best I've ever seen them. And, and even at, like I said, at a high body fat percentage, I'm seeing the separation in my side there. And it's funny, believe people are saying, well, if we do two or three pressing movements, isn't that too much? Or the shoulders is smaller than the chest, or you can't make this, the comparison. The chest is not that big compared to the shoulder. It is bigger, but it's not that big if you think about it. Another thing is, people saying, well, what, what, what if I stop focusing on side laterals and uh, I do a lot of pressing movements? Isn't it counterproductive? I'm trying to get the, you know, the cat, blah, blah, blah. Fuck up, listen. Put your hand, this one thing I realized yesterday, do a side lateral, right, and put your hand right here. You, you notice that when you come up, you feel the contraction in your medial deltoid, right? See? All right. Now, do a behind the neck press or regular standard press. Put your hand right here and touch. You'll notice you get the same, if not a better contraction, depending on how much weight you're using, on your medial delt. So I know a lot of us know that the pressing movements also work the medial delt, but a lot of people just think pressing movements only work the front delt. So they go, they do front, this for front delt, and they do front raises, and they go, okay, we're done with front delt, let's go to side laterals, one exercise. No, pressing movements also work your, your medial delt. Like I said, put your hand here and do like a behind the neck press or a standard front press or a shoulder dumbbell press. You'll notice your medial delt has been activated, and because you could use a lot more weight on pressing movements, you're doing way more by pressing on your medial delt than you're doing by doing side laterals. You know, you know, to be honest, guys, I, I'm ditching side laterals. I'm still doing them, but as a warm-up. I'm doing them as a warm-up pre-exertion exercise. And now I'm focusing on like three pressing movements. When I go to the gym, I do um, standing military press uh, to for the stabilizing muscles of the shoulder. I do seated military press. I do behind the neck press. And if I have time or energy, I do um, hammer delt press. When all my strength is going, I just go for like a pump. And my, like I said, my shoulders blew up. Now I'm going to show you guys uh, some of my pictures. Oh, this video is too fucking long. I'm going to go over to the voice recorder thing so you won't see my face anymore. <clears throat> my fat ass face. Let me show you some of the pictures to show you guys the progress that I made. All right, guys. Here I am. All right. This was me in July. You see my shoulder? Watch my medial dot area. See, I try to snip this shit to show it to you. Now watch me now that I'm bulking. I was 160 here. Here I'm 190. You see the difference? It's fucking ridiculous, right? It looks like I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fucking steroids. Look at that shit. Look at my real deal. Look at my front deal. Look at the, the line in the middle. This was me. This was a, an accident, accidental picture, by the way. This is me walking in front of the camera. You can see the line. Fuck, this shit's going too fast, man. You see this shit here? I'm trying to snip it to show you guys like, like a good angle. I did not have this when I was 160 pounds leaning on the motherfucker. Now I'm 190 or 15% body fat, and I can see my middle deal struggling to get the fuck out of my shoulder. Uh, this is my traps, and um, as you can tell, my shoulders are still lagging, but it's starting to come up. So yeah, guys, I'm telling you, telling you, telling you, start doing a lot more pressing movements, maybe three to four. Team 3D, hope that helps.